Hi, this is Jackie with the Build It All team. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create and add a custom block to your email. And if you wonder what a custom block is, it is basically a piece of content that you might want to use over and over again, and you do not want to retype it each time. It could be an email signature or even a disclaimer. So in this example, we're going to make use of a disclaimer. So right here at the bottom, it says create a custom block. We're going to click on that. Then you can choose the button at the top or you can just click on create a new record. And we're going to give it a tag right now, but see that you have got a little light bulb. If you hover over it, it's going to tell you exactly what the tag is all about. The same with random. So now we are just going to create the tag and I'm going to call it a disclaimer. And I'm going to add my content in right there and I'm going to click save. Now you can see that we've created the disclaimer. We've got a CCT in front of it, underscore disclaimer, and you need to remember that. So now we're going to go and create an email. Going back to the home area and we're going to click on create a campaign. And again, you can choose on either of these buttons. I'm just going to create a new record. I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it a custom block. And I'm going to choose a regular email. I'm going to choose a list. There's no segments or any of those things that we are going to do. So we just need to click on save. Then we need to make sure we type in a sender email that you know is correct. There is one there. All of the rest is correct. And now we are going to change and add the custom block. So I'm just going to say hello there. And this is a, there could maybe be a paragraph. Because this is obviously a disclaimer. And now we need to use the tag. And if you've forgotten which bracket, you can click on the macros and you're going to see exactly what it looks like. So let's go put in that tag. And we know it's CCT underscore disclaimer. And it's all in capital letters. And we're going to close it. And I'm going to say correct. So now you've done everything that you want. You're going to click save. And you're going to save and activate because that's fine. And then you're going to wait for it to be sent. I'm going to show you now just now what it looks like. So let's just refresh the screen so that we can have the updated information. You can see it's been sent. So if I go to my email, you see it sits at the top. There's my training list. If I click on it, there is the piece that we have inserted as a CCT. I'm going to go back. And that brings me to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in another.